The biggest 4th of July celebration in New Jersey took place in downtown Jersey City. Tens of thousands lined up to watch some big name acts and, of course, the fireworks. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon was there for the big show. And Dick, the fireworks display capping off what's been a long day of celebrations filled with plenty of drinking, dancing, and of course, great performances. The big ones are the ones that are the most seeable. Fireworks are amazing. It's like breathtaking that you, you have a culture, you have a community, you have everybody here. It was you know, good. It was an amazing environment. You know, we, you know, Jersey City turned up, man. Go Jersey! Whoa! of thousands line the waterfront to take in the fireworks. They flock to the river after watching several big name acts like DJ Diesel, who you might know better as former NBA great Shaquille O'Neal. Along with the New Jersey native, many came out to see headliner Flo Rida, who capped off one of the largest 4th of July celebrations in the state. I think we all miss this. We like making connections, and I just to see uh, all the diversity. Much better than being stuck inside watching it on your laptop, you know? It's been a long time, but it feels good to be able to get out and, you know, just have fun and kind of forget about all the problems for a little bit. For out-of-towners, this was a chance to be part of something big. It feels alive. You feel all the energy, man. It's, uh, you know, it's not all pure like cornfields and cows and, you know, it's all love. I love it. We get our energy from each other, so like, you know, we want to be around people. Like, it's a, that's the beauty of humanity is being around each other. The sense of unity here comes on the heels of many tragedies throughout the country, including the latest one in Highland Park, Illinois. With that in mind, security was a top priority. We spend months upon months of preparing for this from a security standpoint because, you know, you want to make sure in today's world that's so complicated that people feel that we're doing our best to keep them safe. The efforts seen here included dump trucks, barricades, the bomb squad, police both in uniform and in plain clothes, and then, of course, the measures not seen by the naked eye, which include snipers on rooftops. And, Dick, as this celebration comes to a close, we're offered a very fitting backdrop of the Freedom Tower on this 4th of July. In downtown Jersey City, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News. Thanks very much.